Hey guys, how's it going? Um, sorry it took me so long to get these um, mods made for these printers. I do apologize. It uh, just so much stuff happening in my life, and uh, just had trouble uh, finding time to uh, dedicate to developing uh, this system. But I do have it. Uh, completed and uh, as you can see it's in operation now um, I'm actually doing a print right now with it and um, everything works good um, it's very very nice to be able to uh, depend on um, the parts you know without them having to worry about them breaking and stuff so as you can see I've got more mods than I had before. Uh, before it was just the carriage and then the idlers, uh, the X carriage and the idlers. Now I have also replaced the Y carriages as well. Um, there's quite a bit. I actually have stepper brackets too um, that I got rid of the original three printed ones. I got one right here. So they like to melt a little bit. You can kind of see, I don't know how that happens uh, with the spacers uh, between the steppers and the brackets. But uh, yeah, even them, even those start to warp uh, over time. But as you can see, it's uh, everything is installed. It went very nice, it was pretty Pretty painless and straightforward. It was much, much easier to install uh, the cables and overall just the bracketry and everything. Installing it was much easier uh, than the originals. Um, so I've got quite a bit going on here. I can explain, you know, a lot of it uh, in other videos, but I have gone through and I did my best to get um, uh, how to's on how to how to install things um, and um, basically what order to do it in and uh, you know there's quite a bit of other tutorials for calibrating and things like that but uh, I just want to let you guys know I have the kit done uh, you can see the idlers in the back there. Uh, they're really, really nice to be able to come in from the side with the cables. Um, and um, I'm using a new cable that uh, it's a Dyneema Super Braid Spectra Fiber. And it is approximately the same diameter as the Kevlar that they were using uh, in the originals but this stuff is stronger than the Kevlar by weight uh, and it's very abrasion resistant uh, I believe it's actually Teflon impregnated as well so it really uh, resists uh, abrasion quite a bit um, you do want to make sure you're not rubbing anywhere with the cable but um, even if you do it's like I said it's very durable stuff I haven't had it any problems with it and the stretch is so far been very minimal um, there's naturally going to be a little bit but uh, I've only had to make one adjustment with my tensioners in the back so far um, and it's holding which is nice um, the Kevlar one would go slack on me quite a bit and then have to tension them up and stuff um, but yeah so I have a new uh, bracket here for positioning the Y uh, limit switch um, it basically just moves it over to the other side and that's necessary because it has to act upon the Y carriage bracket there and uh, it doesn't uh, the original limit switch bracket doesn't hold it in a position where it's actually able to work with this 
with this mod, so that's needed. Uh, it's just one bolt uh, goes down and bolts where the original one was, and then there's two M2 screws that go through and hold the switch on, and then you just simply move the wires over to the to that side of it. Um, and then there's limit switch stop here for the X. And then there's the uh, limit switch bracket for that. Um, so this uh, particular uh, kit is uh, can be used with the F400, the F410, which is what this is. I have an F400 right here. Uh, this I'm leaving stock. Uh, just because it's pretty new and I'm not uh, going to dig into it. I want to have something uh, to verify against and for comparisons. Uh, so I'm keeping the original bracketry on this one. Uh, so that's what the original brackets look like. Um, so I'm keeping that stock. And then I have another F410 over here that's partially modded. It's not fully modded like this one is. Um, so I have a couple um, um, other machines to test against. Um, so there is some uh, different components needed for each model. Um, I do have, so here is one of the Y-axis brackets. Uh, this is what they look like, just the plate. Uh, I don't have the eccentrics or the wheels installed for the standoffs, but uh, that's what they look like here. And then the idlers screw in like that. And then this tongue groove here actually self-aligns the uh, extrusion rail, the X extrusion rail, uh, in proportion with the other bracket on the opposite end. Um, so I have a how-to um, video that I will be sharing if uh, people are interested in in these kits but uh, this bracket here would go where that one is right there so you can see it's a slightly different shape so this one is made to hold a limit switch uh, on the actual Y carriage for the uh, 306 model and then basically the switch instead of it being there it would be on the on this carriage and the arm that that switch mounts to uh, right there will actually be the actuator so it'll actuate against that that uh, bracket and um, <clears throat> then the F400 has a uh, another bracket too that uh, looks like this. Let me just show it to you. It's a simple little bracket here. So this is the the other bracket that bolts to. So here is another carriage for the X. So I just have it loose uh, without the um, wheels and standoffs and eccentrics on it. Um, but basically, this bracket. For the F400, uh, you take your IR board and it screws on to this. And then the board and this bracket uh, screw on to here. Oh, sorry. Try to do this one handed, but so that's, that's how that goes. So that aligns like that, and then the board will be held. Uh, right back here like that um, And anyway, so that that bracket is designed to work with the original factory uh, hot end length That's this hot end here. I believe it's a v6 E3d v6 and um, If there's any other uh, hot end uh, custom hot ends that want to be used with the um, with the F400, I can uh, if you just let me know the the length, 
I can adjust the length, uh, make a special bracket, no big deal. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to let you all know that I have, uh, I have everything developed, prototyped, tested, and in use and ready to uh, offer these to anybody who's interested in them. Uh, so anybody who is, just send me a message uh, if you're on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're at, if you see this video, uh, you can just reach out to me through the, the media platform that you discovered me on. Um, uh, find me on YouTube. Um, not too hard to find. I've got a bunch more videos coming. Uh, tutorials and how-tos for calibrating. Um, I pretty much know these machines inside and out. I've rebuilt this entire thing. I've refurbished it from scratch pretty much. I tore everything apart and did everything uh, all over again. So if you guys have any questions at all, uh, you know, I'll do my best. I don't claim to know every single thing there is to know about these things. But hardware-wise, you know, I, I know quite a bit about them. And I'll do my best to try to help you in any way I can. Um, anybody who gets these kits from me, if there's any incompatibility issues or anything like that, I'm not leaving you high and dry. Uh, I'm going to take care of you, you know, uh, we'll make it work. These are all made right here in the United States uh, by me with my machines. And uh, so... Yeah, again, I do apologize for the delay. I've left a couple people hanging. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, I just, they're ready to go. And just, like I said, send me a PM if you want to uh, get one of these kits shipped out to you or a partial kit. I can, you know, hook you up with the Y axis upgrades and, or you can, you can get just the, the X carriage if you want. Uh, that is actually compatible with the original uh, stock um, carriages. So this is one of the Y carriages. So that that's basically what this one down here, that's what that replaces. So, um, so I've got uh, universal parts too. So you can get stuff at your own leisure pretty much you know wheels if they wear out you can get those pretty much anywhere but I have gone out of my way to uh, seek out a source for some of the best wheels that you can get uh, these wheels that I use are perfectly concentric they are not injection molded they are machined and they're not cheap I, I get the good stuff um, I know it's a pretty critical thing to have uh, perfectly concentric wheels. And not only that, but these wheels are double bearinged. Each wheel has two bearings serving the same function as one of these. So the reason why I had to do this was uh, the original design. Uh, this is another reason why it's added so much time to everything. Uh, these wheels uh, have these plastic sleeves that go around, I believe it's a 608 bearing. Uh, Fusion 3 refused to sell me the quantities I needed uh, to make these kits and offer them to you guys. And they actually almost didn't want to sell me any for my machines. Uh, and I didn't like being in that position uh, at all, being at the mercy of proprietary parts from Fusion 3. So that's when I went to the drawing board again and redesigned everything around these wheels. Um, and I, I basically just designed this entire thing to be as simple uh, for the user as possible uh, for installations. If you have cable breaks or anything like that, um, this is all to, to eliminate the chances of breaking a cable. but in the event you do um, it's it's designed to help you know installation uh, be as painless as possible I have my own cables that will be sent with each kit uh, that I cut uh, it's a very similar diameter 
and I have an installation uh, process that I use that works really, really well um, with them too. Um, I have not seen a cable break yet. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to go over here. I just want to let you guys know that I do have the kits and just let me know. All right, guys? So let me know if you have any questions too. All right, take care, guys.